Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Celestian Tales, The Old North. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last time we started our training. You can reach Mudtown through a mountain path just past the city's church. Don't forget to pray often at those small shrines. You never know when bad things may happen. So yeah, in the last episode, we started our training. Uh, we picked up a lot of um, manure, and now we're supposed to bring the manure to Mudtown. At least that's what we've been tasked with. Um, we also explored the majority of the city, which uh, kind of comes in handy, because it means now we don't have to do it in this episode. Um, we discovered that this game has some awkward dialogue, but that's not the end of the world. And now we can actually just go and uh, start uh, actually playing this game. Uh, we were told to pray at the church often because at the church uh, we'll get to, uh, you know, clear ourselves of stuff, I guess. Is this the church? I think this might be the church. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we can't walk on grass because it's too tall and we don't want to dirty our shoes. I would like to go talk to this guy and see why he's praying at a tombstone or, so or whatever that is. And uh, we know that, uh, well, I think this brings us outside, and I uh, was correct. Huh. It seems that all the art is, like, hand-drawn. This doesn't really look like pixel art to me. It looks like just... Like, I'm trying to look at it, like, kind of close by, but yeah. It looks like everything has been hand-drawn, which I like. And here's our first fight. Now, I don't know if all monsters look the same way. Okay, he spotted us. We'll fight him. Now, okay, so all monsters will take up the same icon uh, on the screen, I guess. They didn't want to uh, ha take too much time, which is fine. And now we see that it's a mountain boar, and we see that we have 3 of 8 stamina. Now we know that- ooh, excuse me. Uh, we know that Arya has specific skills. We will not defend or use her shield right away. Actually, you know what, let's just do protection, because why not? Here you go. Now she's protected for three turns. What does Lucienne have? She has Battlefield Tyrant, raises enemy aggression to Lucienne, raises Lucienne's defense for three turns, or Body Perfection, which removes Poison, Bleed, Blind from Lucienne and restores a small amount of HP. Well, we don't need either, and I definitely don't want to aggro that boar because Arya has her shield on. I'd rather they fight Arya. So I'm just going to attack. 484 damage, not bad. Now, what does our good friend Reynard have? He has Wild Axe, deals double damage with a chance to miss. Or Rage, raises attack damage and reduces Reynard's defense for three turns. So basically the opposite of what Lucien has. Hmm. All right, well, I mean, let's just check out what this looks like. I'm curious, so did not miss after all. And now it's our good friend Arya's turn. Why did the big dog go? I don't know. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. And you attack as well. Bam. Oh, that did not do a lot of damage. And he did Harden Hide. What does a normal attack from him look like? 149. Uh, this guy is strong. Oh, yeah. And the big no is definitely weakened, according to its new stance. And now it is dead. I feel bad. Our first victory. And we got some main and raw meat. Now, I wonder if we can do something with these mats. Let's see what the inventory says. Now, we have raw meat. Is there any way to show info? It just says that it's loot, so I'm assuming this is how you make money. You, you get stuff and you sell it. Now, I see a lot of people complain in RPGs that it makes no sense for a boar to have uh, money. And on, in one, you know, in one hand, I agree. We'll just fight. Bam. Okay, now we'll see if HP restores between battles, which is something I was kind of curious. So yeah. So some people kind of complain that in RPGs it makes no sense for a board to have money, and it would rather have the system where the board gives you a main and some raw meat. Now, what I don't get... Ooh, I think everybody shares the same level. Oh, that is actually pretty badass. Now, my uh, thoughts on this is that it makes, sure, it makes no sense that uh, a boar would have coins on it. 
But the way I always saw it was that it just streamlines the whole having to go to the shop, sell your goods, and... Ooh, this is actually... Oh, okay, so HP does restore between battles. Something I appreciate. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what that does, but we'll try and finish it off before it has a chance to use it. Perfect. Now... Now what bugs me now is that I don't actually know how much money I actually have. All I know is I have two meat, two raw meat, and two hides. And now I have to go to the actual store and sell it. So basically it's just adding a bunch of time and different kind of grinding to uh, grinding levels and grinding money. So it's, it doesn't really add a whole lot of fun to the game, right? Like. Gaining money directly from boars just streamlines it and allows me to play and have, you know, battle and stuff. I don't know. To me, it just makes more sense to, to do it. Alright, so, so far, these battles are extremely easy. And with HP restoring between each battle, um, I'm never in real danger, so I can just spam the A key. I want, oh, there you go. Well, what's this? Um, raw meat. Okay. Useless treasures, a uh, staple of most JRPGs. Also something that I'm kind of annoyed about, because I am not rewarded for exploring here. I got a raw meat, which I would have gotten from Boar regardless. So, anyway. Not a real big complaint there, but a mini one. I guess it's impossible to have a perfect JRPG, so... I won't complain too much. So far the battles look good though. I, I I like the zoom in effect. I like the sound effect so far. I like knowing whose turn is up. There you go. That should finish him off. Oh, maybe not. Is there an auto mode? There is not. I would probably put it on auto mode just to speed things up to be honest. Because right now I'm just fighting. Boss fights will be interesting. Alright, so came unlocks projectile study, defensive stand, and tempered in combat. Now are those abilities? Or um He's got rage. Wait, so can we equip a new skill? Well no. Sharpened bolt, first aid at volley. So I don't know. Oh, there you go. Tempered in combat. Reduce all damage from beasts. Defensive staff gains additional damage reduction when defending. And increases Camille's chance to inflict status. Perfect. There you go. That's neat. Some passives we can uh, equip. I like, uh, I like that. That's neat. Alright, so... Um, everybody gains levels together, which I appreciate, because the people that got some abilities there were not in my party. Except for Lucien, sorry, and Raynar. What am I talking about? I am on crack. I'm caffeinated, but clearly not caffeinated enough. I still don't know what that does. Oh, at attack up 50%. Okay, that makes sense. So it makes sense to take him out first. Yeah. Well, that won't actually help you. Die, spider, die. Harden hide. <laughs> you can harden your hide all you want, but... You should probably just hide. <laughs> Cause you're gonna die next. Beast. There you go. Ah, reduce damage against beast for Reinhardt, so that was pretty good. Um, I don't see a significant increase in damage after get leveling up. Not a big deal. Did it just defend? Uh not the smartest beasts, but that's fine. So, uh, how much money do will we have had? Uh, oh, what do we have here? We got Coat of Vitality. Now, who could use some more vitality? I think Arya, I guess. Um, well, she can't equip it, so there you go. Who can equip it? Uh, this is Isaac, Camille, and Ilian. That's it, right? Well, I think Ilian... Who has the lowest? No, Camille has the lowest, so we'll give it to her. Not that it really makes a big difference. Oh, and looks like monsters do respawn. 
so it would be easy to grind if we wanted to, which I'm, I guess I'm kind of doing, but I, I'm heading back to town because I want to see what meat is worth, and I want to see um, if we can buy any better gear for now. So it's not really a big deal. Um, battles go by pretty quickly. Hmm. Alright, there you go. Victory, we've got four mains and one raw meat. So, the loot is different for every battle. It's not like a boar gives you raw meat and a main every time. So, yeah, I will fight this guy. I don't, re I don't really care. It doesn't... Oh, and there's only one of them. So, that's gonna go by pretty quickly. Alright. So, yeah, I do like the art style for this game, uh, though there, there is some inconsistency a little bit. Like, I find, like, the backgrounds are a little muddy, while the sprites, I don't know, they look different. Like, you know, like, I find sprites don't look good when you zoom in and zoom out like it's doing right now, but still, still like it, though. Like, I mean, if you look at Sukoden, that, whenever you do Unite attacks, the game would kind of, like, zoom in, or... If you'd get, like, uh, critical strikes, it would zoom in and stuff, and those were sprites, and man, those looked horrendous sometimes, so that's that's not really a deal breaker or anything. Just a little nitpicky on my part. Alright, so the market was this way. And another complaint I have is that the environment is hard to uh, know what you can walk on and can't walk on. Like, this does not clearly look like a wall until you get up to it, you know what I mean? Like... Because the colors all kind of blend in together really well. They don't blend in well, as in they, they they all look the same. So this looks like I could walk on it, but it's actually a wall because it's a different level. See, like these stairs, like this doesn't connect very well, in my opinion. So, okay. Now, I'm assuming we can only sell stuff. Oh man, are you serious? They're not taking orders. Okay, I forgot about that. But we can s sell loot. Now, loot, we can sell a shirt, because I won't need that shirt again. Now, is that per... Okay, cool. So we got three raw... Oh, no, no. We're going to sell all seven of it. Um, All twelve of this. Okay, there's no way to go to the maximum, is there? Okay, up. If you press up, it goes to the maximum. There you go. So we saw, sold everything, and now we have a thousand leave. Now we can buy different things, which are just loot, really, so, okay, there you go. So we can't buy anything yet. I had forgotten about that. Oh, well, I guess we'll just head back towards Mudtown, then. Oh, wait, we can buy these accessories, though. Uh... Okay, so, that's plus 15. And wood plate is plus 7, so I think I can buy three of those. So let's buy three. Uh, power plus one, Vital. I'm assuming they can all wear one each, but first let's look if only these three can equip that. So there. Oops, status. Okay, yeah. So good thing we only bought two, uh, three. So defensed up right away. We'll sell these plates these wooden plate things. I don't think I need to buy these coats. So what are, are... Is that the default equipment for... No, they're shirts. And the shirts are plus 7. So here, they're, they're plus 15. So yes, we will buy... Th oh, no, no, no. I'll just buy two of those. Power, vitality, defense, or health. Well, you know what? I actually would rather have power. And here we go, so we'll go back to the status screen. I love, this is the part about RPGs that I absolutely love. I love doing this stuff. All right, so then we equip a coat and a coat, there you go. I will sell all of these, and now we only have 330. What could I do with that? Vitality, defense, rusty braces, defense, and health. Um, I don't really need uh, defense. Can I buy some defense? Um, let's see here. Party. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, we can have two accessories each. Oh, and there's a default skin. I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess you can change what you look like. Well, that's kind of neat, I think. Alright, so let's buy a second accessory. 
Um, I'm gonna buy some defense. Let's buy three of them, because why not? We have the money, it's easy to grind money, which I appreciate. There we go, defense plus five. Bam, 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 thank you, ma'am. All right, back to adventuring. Let's let's do one uh, battle of that boar at the beginning, or maybe two, who knows? No reason not to. See how quickly they go by, and we will save, because now we have new stuff. And we didn't really waste money, because we can just grind it really easily. Okay, keep going. Uh, one thing that does bother me um, about the game so far is how um, you have to press a key to transition to a new map. It's not a deal breaker, it's just a little annoying. Because, I mean, I'm gonna walk on the edge and you just kind of hug the edge for a while and it's like, oh yeah, I gotta press. So, caregiver, swift steps, and offspring of the tree. Alright, let's check out what these new... Th active or not active? Okay, caregiver, increase amount of heal from skills. Yes, that sounds like a good idea to me. So, Seth, Isaac has a small chance to evade an attack. Of course I would equip that. And offspring of the tree, uh, a small amount of HP each turn. Yes, perfect. There you go. And we'll attack this one, a boar. Can we kill it in two turns? Let's see. Nope, and it's not even weakened. And now it's defended. I did defend or defended. I don't know if that you can really say that. I do apologize. So the boar still takes a while to kill. Not a big deal. Man, I really appreciate that everybody levels up at the same time. I Now I feel like I can, <clears throat> excuse me, mix and match my party members without ever being punished for it. So I have to tip my hat to the developers for doing that. All right, here we go. I mean, I hope the boss fights are gonna be a little bit more interesting. Cause right now these are seriously just a cakewalk. Like considering that HP uh, goes up after each like battle, like it's restored. And they do so little damage. So far, there's no reason for having any kind of strategy in the battle. Just spamming A does the trick. And I'm limited in the amount of abilities I have. Oh. There it is! The card for Leventine has arrived! Greetings, villagers. We are here to deliver the contents of this card on behalf of Lord Allen. Look at that! Such a big pile! Such a big pile of crap! Ah, uh, uh, indeed, and the scent is sickening. Is it really? Ha ha ha! It somewhat is, but at least there were beasts to fight. I thought it was going to be a boring trip, but that was kind of fun, I'd say. Why are you happy to hurt animals, Reynard? Do humans find it fun? Of course, the heat of combat, the feeling of your weapon hitting a foe, it's exhilarating! Ill Illy doesn't understand. Don't worry, Illy. Me neither. The cart is yours now. Please take care of it. We will, miss. Please inform Lord Levant that we are truly grateful for this. Well, there you go. Never has I seen someone so happy over dung. In the castle, the heap is nothing but filth, but here they have their uses. Turning filth into something useful, Lord Allen does know what the, his people need. Illy think it's very clever. She will tell her mother about this one day. Is this how a wise man rules? Duty to the people, huh? At any rate, we should return. The sun will set soon. Right now? Does thy endurance know no bound, Lucien? What? I would assume that it does not. Why don't we take a look around for a bit before walking back? Seeing how the commoners are doing is part of a noble's duty, right? That's a good idea. Really? Very well. Let's take a rest for a while before going back. Alright, Lucien, you had a good idea there. Now let's see, can we do anything with this dung? We used to grow a lot of crops, but lately the soil isn't that good anymore. Since Lord Levant began sending us piles of dung though, things are getting better again. Man, I wish I could make people happy by sending them dung by the cartful. Uh, life isn't that simple. Alright, so we finally have a house we can explore, and it has no NPCs and no items we can pick up. Interesting. 
Alright, so I don't know why in Levantine we can't go in the houses, but here we can, and here it's kind of like completely useless. One thing we did notice in the last episode was that um, when something can be interacted with, it kind of sparkles. And so right now I knew from the get-go that this house wouldn't have anything, but I just wanted to make sure because I'm still new to the game. The river's current used to be so strong that there were no fishes around here, but since Lola Levant built the water mill, not only are there fishes, we often get big catches too. Well, that's good. Yeah, so since I'm new to the game, I kind of just still want to make sure that I don't miss anything, so I'm still like hugging corners and stuff like that. Probably don't need to, but... Healy likes this village. It's so peaceful, so different from the city and castle. The village reminds Healy of her home. Do many humans live like this? Unfortunately, Mudtown is an exception. Since it's only reachable from Leventine, the village has always been safe from outlaws. Not many can say the same. Indeed, prosperous villages are rare out there, and if there are any, are any, then often become ripe targets for bandits and marauders. The realm is a dangerous place, Ilian. It's not always like this. Oh, that's too bad. Sometimes people are so poor they have no choice but to become bandits. If living honest lives isn't enough to feed their families, and still they must pay taxes to the nobles, will you do that as well? We may see the outlaw outlaws simply from the surface, but there's always a bigger story behind it. Nobody wants to be criminals because they're born evil. Isaac, there's no need to put ourselves in that place. Deus Valoris created the lowborn to serve us, the noble caste. In turn, we are to guide and protect them. Tis how the Dea Deas rode the world. Tis how it should be. If one cannot afford to pay taxes, they may serve the realm in other ways, such as becoming soldiers. Never is there an excuse to take what is not right rightfully thine. Such atrocities simply cannot be justified. Hey, I agree with that. Soldiering is much more exciting than a peaceful life anyway. Seriously, don't people get bored here? There's no fights, no dangers. I'd die in a week. Hey, boy. Yes, you there. Huh? Yes, you boy, come here. Huh? Uh, <laughs> what does he want? Is he gonna kill me? Is he gonna kill me? He looks so dangerous with that axe. Uh, yes, master. Did you call for me? Are there any giant beasts around here we can hunt? Any renegades we can squash? Uh, no. There's nothing like th like them around here. See? It's so boring. Don't you agree with me, kid? Well, a bit. Are there always giant beasts, robbers, and renegades outside, master? I've always wanted to leave this village and travel, but I don't know what's out there. You should be thankful to have good crops every year and not starve. Some villages out there are starving to death. If those kinds of people want to leave their homes, I can understand. But here, this village is already far better off than most in the realm. Why would you even want to leave? It's... um... It's my father, young master. I want to go outside the village to look for him. He hasn't returned for years and I haven't heard anything from him. But I'm sure he must be out there, somewhere. Huh? Quest! Are you sure you want to do that? It's a dangerous world out there. A different kind of place than this peaceful village. A boy like you won't survive long for long. How are you going to find him if you can't take care of yourself? I... I guess you're right, miss. A kid like me would have a little chance fighting beasts or bandits, but I can always avoid them, right? Avoiding enemies might be easy at first glance, but life isn't that simple. There will ine inevitably be encounters that you'll have no choice but to face. The more you avoid enemies, the less you'll be trained physically and mentally. There will be fewer fights, but the ones you have to face will be harder. That doesn't just go for you, it goes for us as well. That's why it's not always wise to avoid enemies just because we're lazy. I see, then. I guess I should start training from now. From now? After everything she said, you're still going to leave this village someday? Of course, master. If words can put my spirits down, how am I ever going to find my father? Haha, <laughs> look at this young lad. More villagers should learn from your confidence. What's your name, brave kid? It's Cameron, master. Cameron, huh? Good luck finding your father. If we ever meet again, tell me what you've seen in your travels. Now go back to what you were doing. The crops won't farm themselves, you know. Will do, master. Thank you for encouraging me. There you go. You shouldn't have encouraged him, Reynard. He's just- he's but a kid. Ha! The girl who started wielding weapons at seven wants to lecture me about this? 
it's getting late. We, sh we should get going. Master at Arms must be waiting for us. Um, yeah, eventually we should get back. Um, this water wheel actually isn't turning, but it's still bubbling. Hmm. See, this is shiny. We can inter interact with it. If I can actually get it going. How do I do it? Oh, there you go. Aged necklace. Now, what does an aged necklace do? Health plus 40. No need for now. Oh, well, actually, you know, while I'm at it, might as well just give it to, uh... Uh, who has a less... Oh, well, there you go. She can have the age necklace for now. Uh, nothing here. I will still explore just because. Alright. We can buy accessories here, looks, and I think I saw something shine around here, yeah. So you're gonna see it right here. Honor metal lathe? I don't know what that means. I don't know what all these honor metals do, but... Muttdown is small, but it's got fresh local goods, second to none. Um, I'm assuming we might be able to... Oh no, this is stuff we own? Oh no, 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 that's what we... Stuff we can sell. I, I'm thinking that maybe... Uh, okay, so it's worth 30 here. Maybe we can buy stuff and sell it elsewhere. A pleasure doing business with you. I, I'm not really interested, really. I... There might be a trading system a little bit like Sukoden. Hey, that's a chest. I want to open it, but I can't. Hmm. Thank you for the encouragement, masters and misses. Now, if only those wild boars out there would stay away from the road, maybe I can try going out. Uh, you're right. Most noble ladies marry later than villagers do, sometimes even in their 20s. Oh man, in their 20s? That's ancient. Jeez. There's no pressure for money, I guess. Or maybe just too busy attending balls. A mixture of rosemary and white wine can help make your face prettier. The scent isn't for everyone, but who cares if it, it, it can get men to notice you? Uh, right, okay. Tiny white crystal, I think that's like a potion kind of thing. I forget what the uh, actual bonus is. Uh, nothing here. Yeah, you have to like really pay attention for the shiny things, and so sometimes they're hidden behind like trees and such. Oh, this is locked. The door to this house seems to be locked. How unfortunate we can't go, you know, stealing stuff. Thank you for delivering the dungs, master and mistresses. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. I'm the dr dung trader. That's my nickname in these parts. Oh, there's a guard here. <sighs> Being stationed in a village is an easy job. But it's so boring. I just wish for at least a friend to chat with. Oh, how about talking with you, masters and misses? Are you in a good mood for a chat? Let's see, do you know that you can control your enemy's targets? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, okay. Well, time to save. And you know what, folks? I think it's a good time to end the episode here, since we're about at the 30 minute mark. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting because I love talking about video games. So comment so we can chat, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye now. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.